Prime Minister courted popularity with pledging an amnesty for illegal immigrants and his vocal opposition to Heathrow expansion. So now he's in a position to do something about these two. Is he a man of his word? Prime Minister, as uh, the uh, Honourable Lady will know very well, I've answered the question on, on Heathrow. I remain uh, deeply concerned about the abilities of the promoters of the third runway to meet their obligations on air quality and noise pollution, and uh, I will follow the court cases with a lively interest. And as for the amnesty on illegal uh, immigrants, it is absolutely true that I have raised it several times since I was in government, and I must say didn't receive an overwhelming endorsement from uh, uh, the previous Prime Minister when I, <laughs> when I, put it, uh, when I raised it once in, in Cabinet. But I have to say, I do think, I do think that our arrangements uh, in uh, theoretically, theoretically being committed to the expulsion of perhaps half a million people who don't have the correct papers and who may have been living and working here for many, many years uh, without being involved in any criminal activity at all, I think that uh, legal position is anomalous. And we saw the difficulties that uh, that kind of problem occasioned in the, uh, in the Windrush uh, fiasco. We know the difficulties that can be caused, and I do think, yes, I'll answer her directly, I do think we need to look at our arrangements for people who have lived and worked here for a long time, unable to enter the economy, unable to participate properly or pay taxes, without documents, we should look at it, and we should, uh, uh, the truth is that the law is already basically allows them an effective amnesty, that's basically where, uh, where things have settled down, but we should look at the, the economic advantages and disadvantages of going ahead with the, the policy that she describes and which uh, I think she and I share.